Hello, everybody. It's Stu Smith and Jeff Nichols here with the Tactical Fitness Report. And what we're going to do now is talk a little bit about the next step of what to do when your day is done. So previous uh, Tactical Fitness Report, we talked about wound care, foam rolling, icing, you know, things to do during selection at the day end of the day that you have a few hours to help recover from that day as well as prepare for the next day. But What's the number one recovery tool? Sleep. Sleep. Yep. Number so, one performance enhancing opportunity. So we're going to talk about on this one what not to do, you know, when you're getting ready to go to sleep and, you know, what to do. Maybe set up a, a certain ritual that you have. And I personally think that ritual that starts at the end of the day is a great way to start your daily ritual before you go to sleep. So yep. you take a shower, you get cleaned up, you put on your compression garments, you ice yourself, you check your wounds, you know, whatever order you want to put that in. And, um, and then you start getting ready to sleep. And there, yep. there are some things that you should do uh, to do that. We'll talk about those first. Yep. So what, what is it that you like to do? I mean, even then, yep. or especially now, you know, that, uh, you know, as you age, you definitely need good sleep. Yeah, so. for sure. And, you know, I, so the thing too is like, I look at everything as like, as a, like a domino effect and it goes all the way back to what we're talking about, you know, with, okay, what snacks am I eating? Don't skip meals. And then that transition into when the day is done, what do we do to improve gut health? And then it now trans their phases. And so the phase we're on and look at the domino that's about to fall before we talk about sleep even, it's like, I want to put myself in a state to receive sleep. And one of the things, again, I can encourage you, and we know Stu and I have touched on this before, is I don't care what it does, the brand doesn't matter, but ha have a couple of really, really nice hoodies, beanies, have some really super comfortable sweatpants, right? Really good soft socks to wear with your Birkenstocks or flip flops or whatever you're going to do. And just be comfortable and warm as much as you can. Because when you, especially when you get cold feet and cold toes, right? So we're talking about foot care. You don't want cold toes. You don't want vasoconstriction when you're trying to get blood into those toes to heal the blisters and the tendons and ligaments. So warm feet and even warm hands. I'm not saying walk around in winter, glo winter gloves, but a lot of sweatshirts now have the thumb hole, okay? Yeah. You obviously, hoodies have the pockets. Get comfortable, okay? And so then that we're going to talk about transitioning into sleep is that a couple things. We, and, and, I'll, and I'm not going to take I, – I really you – know, you know, we should – I'm going to get him on. We, we got to have him on. Kirk Parsley. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's a senior, he was the senior medical officer for Naval Social Warfare. Yeah. They all thought he was fucking crazy years ago. When I say they, I'm talking about – chain of command at Warcom. They all thought this crazy SEAL doctor was trying to hawk his bullshit medicine. And here's the deal. Kirk Parsley was like, is light years ahead of everyone. And yeah. All he wanted to do is get people to sleep. That's it. And so <laughs> you know? take, take a look at him, Dr. Kirk Parsley. He did a, he did a Ted talk. He's got, he's got a website, man. He is such a good dude. So yeah. he, he, I believe he's the first person I've ever heard use the term of, of sleep hygiene. Yeah, I, you're right. I think, you know, yeah. I don't think you can trademark that phrase, but he's the first person, and I heard this in 2006, 2005, right before I came to the command. He was he was out there going from platoon space to platoon space saying, hey, guys, man, you need magnesium. And we're like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. And, and it's funny because that ignorant young team guy is like, Shh, I'm bulletproof, man. I don't need that crap. But now, and then get to know him over the years, I'm like, God, I'm like punching myself in the face going, man, I wish I would have listened to you, doc. So that, so we're going to talk a little bit about sleep hygiene a little bit. Stu and I are going to bounce some ideas off, off you get off ourselves and such and say, okay, so let's, here's the deal is we, first of all, we want to address the environment and Stu and I talked a little bit of this off camera of, of there's a couple things that are paramount for sleep. Okay. It's, um, what ambient noise is going on, the temperature of the room, the humidity of the room, okay, and then uh, light, light exposure. And so I'll start it off by just saying, you know, depending on where your barracks room is facing, 
it's it, a lot. Mine happened to be facing the courtyard that was facing the ocean. There are some guys that face um, across the strand into Coronado Bay and the Bay Bridge, which is a little bit brighter, but it's really pretty dark there, you know? And so that, that we want a dark, cool environment. Now with the ocean humidity being ideal, and that's a crazy thing is Coronado from an environment standpoint is literally as close to perfect as you're going to get. It's cool at night. Uh, it's, it's the, the waves crashing has that good, deep bass ambient noise. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's humid from the salty air and also the environment of buds is you're pooped <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, and you're, yeah. you're, you shouldn't be hungry or, you know, again, all those things we talked about. So that's the big thing is like the, the environment's great. And I'll let Stu kind of touch on his, his thoughts on that. Yeah. I have found that, um, I definitely need dark. So if for some reason you can't get your room dark because you got a lot of light outside of it, make, try to get some shutters or, uh, you know, the drape or whatever, you yep. know, um, rolling Damn, I can't remember the shutter blinds. Yeah. Blinds. Yeah. yeah. So uh, thick ones too. So, you know, so yeah. it really keeps it, um, dark, the dark, uh, the blackout yeah. ones. Yeah. Or, you know, a, a mask, you know, yeah. something that just keeps it up and, and that, that will help you sleep a little bit. You know, the, the ambient noise is great. If for some reason you can't hear it, you know, there are little ambient noise makers that you can do. You can probably buy an app, put it yeah. on your phone and yep. go to sleep to that. A fan. Um, a lot of people use fans, but I found the ocean being really, really cathartic. Yeah. Fans are great. I usually have a fan and just pitch black dark room. I have a, instead me. of a fan now in all my rooms, I've, I'm almost in every room, including my son's and the spare rooms. It, it doubles. I have, I have air purifiers. Yeah. Yeah. Those are great right? too. Yeah. And so here's, here's one thing I'm going to jump in here and I wish, no, I, I want to really urge you guys to do this. For me, I was the luckiest person I think is the roommate that basically I, I ended up with his routine was just like mine. Right. And I know guys that like, we're always switching roommates and stuff. Cause they're like, well, so-and-so always likes to sleep with the TV on or so-and-so stays up late or so-and-so this. So when you get the buds, um, it's funny because Stu and I are talking like five guys, five of his guys are currently like in third phase together. And yeah. they knew each other the whole time through. So you, you might have that case where you know somebody, but the likelihood it's not. So you're not going to hurt anyone's feelings by going, hey, who here like likes dark and quiet? Just, just audit. Find somebody. Go, hey, man, you want to be roommates? The chances are they're, they're going to quit, but it doesn't matter. Then you're <laughs> – for me, I had the same roommate from the moment I, I showed up to pre buds till we graduated. Oh, nice! It was awesome, and, and, yeah. and so like we and we and still to this day like friends, you know. So that so pick get it get it if you can pick your roommate, okay? And then so then we talked again. I'm sorry we talked about you yeah. know, the and you'll get to know them. You'll get to know them from pre buds. You know, it, it, now the whole class moves together from yeah. boot camp to uh, yeah. to buds. So you'll get to know people and you can figure all that stuff out. But, you know, it really is. It is true. The, the key is to get into some form of ritual. And yeah. one thing that can really distract your ritual is too much of this. Yeah. Um, you know, it's you know, crazy because, you know, you, neither have I experienced that. And what a distraction that would be, right? Yeah. So again, we'll get into that here in a minute of what electronics yeah. do to you, but um, you know, as far as as far as the barracks is concerned, I you know I I can't do and I'll be honest with you, I have tried so much to duplicate the sleeping environment that I had at Buds, specifically the noise, and you can't because of that those waves crashing, you can feel it. Yeah, that's it's not true. loud. It's just it, for me, man. It it put me to sleep. And no, like, sound of waves on my radio or phone ever can duplicate it. Yeah. But the thing is, is it, it, totally not by design. Coronado is the world's greatest place to sleep. You know what? It, it, I, I love that place. Yeah. You know? it's, it's, it's even to this day when I go back yeah. and visit California, I typically go to Coronado and spend a night or two because it's, I don't know, there's something about that place that just makes me comfortable. Yeah. I mean, maybe, oh. maybe you're just so damn tired too. And it's really easy True. to fall asleep, but there is something to be said about, you know, cause sleep, quality. You know, sleeping on a beach. Cause we have a, 
you know, beach house we go to and you're exactly right. You know, you just, something it just, about it. The whole thing know. puts you to sleep. It's wonderful. Yeah. So let's, let's jump into, let's talk about some other sort of sleep hygiene distraction. Let's, you know, go ahead and Stu, jump into um, electronics. We kind of already talked about it, right? Yeah. You know what? Too much of this, you know, an hour before you're trying to go to sleep, you know, within an hour before you go and try and some, some will say even longer, yeah. you know, you should probably put your phone away, but you know, it, it is, it is difficult to, to do, especially when you're still communicating with people, you know, that are three hours earlier than you on yeah. the East coast. Yeah. Um, people are going to be texting you in the middle of the night because it's, it's nine o'clock their time, but it's midnight your time. Yeah. You know, so the best thing to do is just turn it off yeah. and, and just, not worry about any of those kind of communications. Um, yeah. What I remember is again, I was again, infancy of, of mobile technology. The people that were on the barrack side facing the Coronado Bay bridge had service <laughs> those of us facing inward of the ocean did not. So you had to actually leave your room, walk around facing, you know, beautiful view watch, looking at the corner of a bridge. That's the only place I could get service. All of us. Cause oh. it was funny. Like at the end of the day, that's funny. We'd all like, you know, we, we'd all, you know, we all go eat together, come back and, you know, just, that's the thing about buds. I remember, and I know you the memory has got to be the same for you as you used to is like buds sucked at times, but even at the moment in retrospect, what a great experience that was, man. Like just because these little things that, you know, reminiscent about like now, like walked around the building and there's like right. 35 of us on our phones talking right. to our families, right. you know, and it's just those little things that you don't experience anywhere else. You know, yeah. it really, it, it takes these group of strangers and it turns you into people you would gladly die for. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're, you know, so, and then, you know, it, yeah. And, and that's the thing is you build such a bond with them where it, 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 it was the first time, cause I've been through college and dorm life and you're just always in conflict. Like, Hey mother, turn your radio down or whatever. It buds. It was like, Hey man, would you mind like, no, yep, no problem. There, there was so little conflict because you were all like struggling at the same thing. So I thought that was a unique thing too, but, um, plus, you know, plus you're, you're really, you're really too tired to have any conflict. You, you really are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but you can screw up your sleep, you For know, sure. and if you, uh, if you're doing stuff, um, you know, caffeine, you know, after dinner, I would not, um, yeah. even nicotine, um, you know, a lot of people dip sometimes or uh, no one really smoked. I never yeah, seen no, any of no that. Yeah, no one in my buds class smoked. Um, but you, you did have uh, dippers. Yeah. Um, you know, and that caffeine, nicotine, you know, alcohol, you know, all of those aren't the best aids in sleeping. No. So, in fact, they do just the opposite. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, I would avoid that's why that. we've, we've talked about a lot where – you know, again, we, we, you know, we did the previous video on you know, must have, I think must have is like, we talked about foam roller compression garment in the buffer, a must have in sleep. And again, here's the list. Again, we talked about the environment that we can control. We talked about blackout curtains, white noise, keep the ambient light down phone away. And so here's kind of our student eyes list. One of the things I'm going to add to that list of must haves is the thorn GABA and magnesium. That's a, That would be 100% in my in my room to consume all the time right that's, now is that considered a supplement well see that's the other side too is Good that question. um here is here is jeff nichols talking out loud saying the policy given what it is what you know i'm not going to tell you what to do but i know what i would do right that's yeah. my thought. Because again, it's like, it's one of those things where, you know, again, when, when you and I were in, you know, there was things like ultimate orange and fen fen and all these sort of things that were a Fedra driven that can be a little bit. Dangerous. Oh yeah, absolutely. With Horrible. magnesium and GABA, your only risk, well, with, with the thorn magnesium bisglycinate, you're not going to get diarrhea, Yeah. but it's one of those things where you're like, there's a part of me that would almost think and I haven't had this conversation as a pure guess that the medical staff at buds would approve it now if they don't approve it you don't you do what you're gonna do but I know and I'm not talking to you Stu I know yeah. this way but yeah I'm gonna do what I'm gonna need to do that's really all I can say but yeah that's one of those sort of fine lines of is it a supplement yeah but is it is it you know 
does it have the stigma of creatine and caffeine and right. whatever else, right? Pro yeah. You know, it, when they came down with those supplements is when in the nineties, it started getting rampant in yep. all sports. Yeah. And it was, it was really the, the introduction of creatine yep. to the supplement business because guys were using it and not really knowing why they were using it or how yeah. to use it. And then they get dehydrated after a long day of training. And next thing you know, they're bilateral cramping on both sides yep. of their body. Yep. They're done, you yep. know, and it was causing a lot of problems. And, and I'll keep this to 20 seconds or less. Creatine had a problem in the past because of one thing, because creatine molecule in itself oxidizes. So they've got to bond something to it, organic chemistry. They've got to bond something to make it shelf stable. What they were bonding to it was silica, it's sand, glass, high carbon. That high carbon bonded to the creatine gave you a lot of GI distress, which then gave you diarrhea, which yep. then gives you dehydration. Now you don't find that. You know, especially the thorn and some of the NSF stuff that Cytosport and other people's, it's not bound it's not to, a lot thing. of times yeah. it's bound to potassium and sodium. So now you have an electrolyte because it's shelf stable and so you don't get the GI distress. So creatine isn't the issue. It's what they chemically bonded it to to keep it shelf stable. That's good. So that's why you use thorn. Thorn isn't bound to yeah. any of that crap yeah. and you won't get GI distress. But understanding buds took that position for the right reason, sure. Uh, and just the fallout was creatine. You weren't taking creatine. It wasn't creatine's fault. It was the crap they were bonding to it. Yeah. So, you know, and, and so again, so we talked about the the magnesium and so forth. And so the next piece of like, okay, things I'm going to definitely have, and I'm going to tell you this, and I know you've heard it, but I can't emphasize it enough. You know, you're not going to be able to buy your mattress. I mean, you probably technically could, but that's not necessary. You can buy a good, and Stu already talked about it, maybe taking your thunder. You can get a really good, like, memory foam topper. Yep, that's bed. all you need. And here's the big thing for me, aside from that, get really good cotton sheets. Get a really good breathable comforter, lightweight but warm or whatever, and do not – I mean, I'm talking, like, go on the quest. When you get to Coronado and you're checking into Buds, go to – Macy's go to the high end department stores and find the world's greatest pillows. Oh yeah. Right? Don't yeah, overlook. Don't, I mean, you got to look at that bed going, this right here is my rejuvenation tank. Yeah. Spoil yourself. Right. And I know a lot of guys, E1, E2, 3 don't have a whole lot of money. And I say Macy's, I say this sort of things. The other side, like TJ Maxx, right. Or you yeah. have the, was it the, the Nordstrom rack, right? Yeah. So really high end stuff. In it in you do you're gonna pay for bedding, um, Jesus the, the the bedding I just actually got in my bed I, I saw it on Instagram, it's like called like Holy Cloud or something. I mean, oh, I saw that. Holy yeah. moly, you like it, huh? It's that, that's my go-to now. And so it's don't. My point is is simply put, don't skimp on bedding, folks. Do not spoil yourself when it comes to sleep. It will pay off. I guarantee you it will. Yeah. Yeah, and one thing too is, um, I mean, it's you're gonna have to get comfortable living with sand because yeah. it. I mean, you're you can't get the sand off of you. Yeah. So your, your bed's gonna have some sand in it. If yeah. you can get as much sand out of your bed as possible, yeah. I highly recommend it. You know, have yeah. some kind of a a brush system or shake it out every night because it. it I mean. You're gonna have sand on you anyway, yeah. but if you can, if you can, if you can take out things that can aid in your discomfort, then I would, I would definitely try to do that. Here's, here's one of those again. Maybe, maybe, maybe we do. We're gonna do a future one on kind of like funny stories or tricks. I, I won't get into it too much about some of those like bedroom tricks to like keep things really clean. One of the things my roommate and I did, we had this idea, and it was from an, a bud student that had already been through buds. Um, he, uh, his wife got cancer. So he basically went on sabbatical from Buds for a while. He's such a good dude. Still is, man. Such a good dude. But So that's why he was able to come back like a year later. That's so nice. He, did, he, he went to um, like a, just a, a carpet store somewhere in like National City or Imperial Beach or something. And he went in and got a whole bunch of just scrap carpet. And he covered his entire floor with just scrap pieces of carpet. Hmm. So coming in and out, it captured all that sand. He just get it out and shake it. Ah. So, 
Some of like those it. little things, right? And also, because here's the thing too, is like boot camp ruined me, man. I I missed carpet. I really missed it. And so we had all these different levels of carpet and like thick and furry and everything. And some had the, the padding on them already. And so we just lined our whole room with these just pieces of carpet. Boy, it was nice, man, being to walk around barefoot on carpet. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah. And so those are one of the things is you want to create this like – when you walk into your room, it's like this cocoon of recovery. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good that's way to think about it. I've never thought about it that way. And that's so it point. started with like, what are we sleeping on? And I did another thing too is like, it, I, they actually didn't catch me until like the last week. I, I made, because you have to make your bed a very certain way, like the Navy standard with the folds and everything. <laughs> I took a big upholstery needle and I put, I put, uh, I got dental floss. And I made my bed and I sewed it to my mattress. And then mm. I can't, in the night I got a really, had a really nice sleeping bag, a down sleeping bag, a big like two person one that I didn't zip myself in it, but that's what I laid into it. And I had a different pillow. Yep. Nice. I, Cause I ironed my pillow and I put the pillow away. And when I'd leave in the morning, that's the last thing I do. I'd roll up my sleeping bag, throw it in there, take my pillow that I slept in, threw it in my locker, pulled my old, my pillow out, my, my, my perfect pillow. pillow. And that's how we, both my roommates and I made our bed every night. Love it. And so it's like a trick, but it's funny because the last room inspection and third phase, they came in and one of the guys is just like pulled on my, my, my sheet and he's like, what the hell? He picked it up and he's like, he goes, he goes, I have never seen this. He goes, that is a fucking brilliant idea. He goes, but he goes, just make sure he goes, it's too late now. He goes, but um, he goes, there was some mold growing on it because of humidity. Uh. So just be, so folks be aware of that because that human environment mm really do check when you check into your barracks take your mattress and pick it up and go oh shit there if there's mold they'll get you a new mattress yeah so be really really aware of that so that's that's these that's things that you just don't think about you know because many of us i mean i lived on my own for years in college but for many of you are just kind of like oh that's what i'm gonna do just investigate so yeah. good that's, good that's very my, good point very good point wait, wait to wait to sum that one up yeah i um i never sewed my bed together but that is a great idea we i just slept on top of a made bed yeah and, and that's then, what most people did yeah and then i took a clothes hanger and just tightened everything up yeah you know, yep. put it all together and then use the different pillow like you and did it just so, takes yeah. a couple moments oh yeah I, I don't know why i did that i just kind of was like man because i didn't want to sleep I, to this day i don't sleep under like tight sheets like everything is yeah, just me over my bed because i don't like my feet but that's the thing too, is it got pretty cool in there at nine. I slept good. A lot of times I would go get, um, I actually had a pair of, cause you can get like, go to like, now they have stores like DXL where you can get socks for size 17 feet. <laughs> like you can get smart wool socks that are like four XL. And even on deployment in Afghanistan, that's after, after the ops, I'd throw on socks that are like three sizes too big and then just kind of roll them down. So they'd stay in place. They're almost like, like wearing Uggs, but they were slippers. Oh. And so I actually was doing that. Started, I started doing that in third phase. Um, just for foot care? Yeah, just yeah, because just... I was like, God, my feet are always so cold. And that's when I bought my Birkenstocks, like yeah. in third phase. So get some, go to REI or buy them early and get some socks that are like, go up to like like Michael Phelps, size 17 feet. <laughs> and, and, and then these little things you don't think about, but it's just, um, it, it, like I said, at the end of the day, if, if I could create some peace of mind, that's what I did. Right. So that's what you should do. So that's a good one. Um, let's think, um, any other thing for sleeping? Cause this is really about the number one tool. Let, let's talk a little bit about the physiology of why sleep is so important. Yeah. You know, just cause we, we say go to sleep and everybody knows, yeah, I need to go to sleep, but here is why it is so important physiologically, what your body is doing when it sleeps. Yeah, so we, you know, there's a million things, but just kind of focusing on the recovery, the physiological recovery, you know, when you, when you get into sleep, specifically REM sleep, that is when your body makes primarily those hormones that are necessary for mood, mood, fun, mood function and healing. So Growth. dopamine, yeah. norepinephrine, testosterone, cortisol is managed being a negative thing. Uh, estrogen is, is, uh, is managed all these, you know, your body flushing itself of the blood lactate, the creatine kinase, 
metabolism of food, all those sort of things. It happens in that, that, that window of slumber because we think about, you know, I'm going to train really hard to get strong. Well, when you train really, really hard, that's when the muscle breaks down. Sleep is the only time, and I mean this literally, the only time you get true muscle, muscle recovery and, and healing is during sleep. Right. And it's, it's due directly in part of those, those uh, necessary hormones for life, testosterone, dopamine, norepinephrine, serotonin, insulin, like growth factor, human growth hormone, the luteinizing, all, like it just goes on and on. And that happens during REM. That happens during sleep. So we just can't look at sleep anymore like it's something I have to do. Just that, because then, then it comes to be like a source of stress, like, oh, shit, I got to hurry up and go to bed. I just right. have to go, yep. Because what? instead of that, because you're always going to be pressed for time, the majority of the time you're going to be pressed for time to buzz to get to that seven-hour mark, <clears throat> maybe. Yeah. But instead of going, oh, my God, I, you know, I've always been getting eight, nine hours of sleep. Now, some of that will have changed because now you've been through boot camp and A school and all those sort of things. But the thing is, is let's focus on sleep quality. Especially when, you know, obviously hell week, you're not going to get it. But then you have hydro hell week <laughs> two weeks later, which is just as bad. And then you have like the second phase, basically those late long days, yeah. double dives. And you're doing yeah. the, the surveys. And then obviously at the island, you're only going to get four hours of sleep for three weeks. And not, you know, for anyway, so let's start focusing on quality. When we can get the quantity on the weekends, we get it. But during the week, let's focus on quantity. So we want to go, let's, let's see what happens to the physiology. Let's stage our, stage our room. And then again, so what, what, did I, what did I miss on the physiology side? What do you think? Um, no, I mean, I think that's everything that a bud student needs to know. You know yeah. because that's, it's, a wound, that's, it's a wound healing too. The abrasions you talked about, when does it heal? Sleep. Yeah. Okay. All of that is, is requiring of sleep. sleep so, breathing. so that's during the week, you know, during the weekend, you know, you can really do this to a greater uh, level, you know, not yeah. only your sleep, you can sleep longer, but naps. You, you, you naps, you can take yep. care of, uh, you know, any aches and pains and wounds. Uh, some guys go out in town and get, you know, actual massages yep. or acupuncture yeah, yeah, yeah. or, yep. you know, if they're really starting to feel it. Um, you know, know, I do too is hot and, tubs. You know, it, yeah. it, for those of you who have never been to Coronado or San Diego, you're going to be surprised how cool it stays even in midday in Coronado. Cause you have that prevailing wind that always comes off, comes from the West. It can be a little bit breezy. You're like, Holy crap. But you just go inland a couple miles. Like yeah, that's a damn desert. It's really <laughs> warm. So it just happened. One of my, you know, the AIC I mentioned to you before off camera that just came from Guam. Uh, CO, his his apartment, him and his wife lived at was over in Fashion Valley. So it's in that it's in a valley, and it was always like we'd get out there and we just sit by the pool on the weekends and just like bake like a lizard on a rock. It felt so darn good, you know. Yeah. And so you know, on the sleep side is, um, I totally lost my train of thought. We were just talking about um, you know, carrying everything has got to carry over, and then the weekend. Sleep becomes a focus and caloric consumption because <laughs> this will be here. You have a total amnesty card for seven months. If you love food and you yeah. love to eat food, but if you, if, if in the, you know, especially during this training, like you got to still watch your calories because you still put on a lot of fat you don't want or body weight, not in buds, man. No, eat, you, you can eat. outwork your diet. Yes, and buds. it might be the only time in your life. The only time I've ever been able to that do you it. just can go, I can't believe I just ate three Chipotle burritos and yeah. now I'm hungry two hours later. And that was crazy. Like I've yeah. I can eat a lot of food, but the amount of calories I consumed at Buds was criminal. Yeah. I highly recommend going calories. to Imperial Beach. Giant pizza yep. game. Yeah, or you go there, you can go to Jalisco's. Yeah, yeah. Family oh, yeah. restaurant and get yeah. a burrito and everything else for Less than ten bucks. It's it's awesome. You I, roll, roll out of there for less than ten bucks. Um, you Clayton's definitely. Clayton's is one of those yeah, joints. Yeah, good for breakfast. Yep. Um, so it just there's just so much good food there, and so just take don't. You should never be hungry. Yeah. Right. If you can help it, you're going to be hungry in buds because you're working and you you know, but. It, and that's the beauty too, and you know we talked about sleep and getting ready for it, and then. 
you know, the morning routine, something, a topic entirely different that we just kind of really isn't a routine. You just got to wake up and go necessarily, but preparing for sleep is again, keep it dark, keep it cool, quiet as possible, right? Good bedding, great pillow. You have a like-minded roommate potentially. Okay. Um, the, the, the environment of Coronado is ideal for sleep because of the humidity. Right. And then it's like, if you can get that magnesium and GABA, so GABA specifically, you know, for a lot of us, you know, you lay in bed and can't turn the brain off. That's the value of GABA. GABA right. gets that, that mental sort of turns the volume down. Right. Whereas magnesium speaks directly to muscle skeletal muscle relaxation, right? Insulin, all these sort of things that benefit magnesium is, it's becoming like the new fountain of youth. Okay. Yeah. If people are really going like, man, why is this working so good? And because of that reason, the research is starting to compile. Nice. Um, and, and it's, it's electrolyte. Most, it most certainly is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so that's a big mm -hmm. one. And then, you know, here's, here's the other side where, you know, kind of fringing on the idea of supplements, but we'll, instead of doing this, we'll go, okay. Cause we'll, we'll play by the rules, but, in your refrigerator, you should have at all times have some insure in there, right? Or if they allow muscle milk or Metrex, which is sold at the Surf Mart, whatever they'll allow that is a protein supplement. Yeah. Okay. Have that in your refrigerator for one reason, because for the most of you at some point, you'll still wake up regularly. Because to be honest with you, buds, we never really encountered dehydration for those of us that made it through because you're are you're always have a canteen you're always you really are like i was never like oh my god i'm so thirsty but because you're always mm. drinking which was which is actually quite nice yeah but so you wake my point is is you're going to wake up in the middle of the night probably if you get to bed at a reasonable hour you'll probably get up at 4 30 um like most of us did but i always woke up in the middle of the night and had to pee and i always grabbed an insure yeah get Good those idea. Calor get those calories in you folks get plan on it and you know what? Insure is, if you look at it, and I could be wrong on this, look look on the back. Some proteins either will say supplement facts because yeah. there's other things in it. Some yeah. will say nutrition facts. If yeah. you can find a protein, and there are a couple out there that say nutrition facts on the back, it is not a supplement. It is actually considered yeah. a food. So food. Baby, yeah. baby powder, you know, yeah. that is not a supplement. Yep. You know, when we're talking about food that goes into formula, you know, yep. there are actually protein companies that make baby formula. Yes. Right. Yep. And it, it is considered a food. It is yep. not a supplement. So once again, find yeah, so, food and it's, you, you won't have to worry about the supplement issue. Yeah, exactly that. So what you do is this, you go to the grocery store because I've done this with some of my athletes that really are on a tight budget. When you're an E1 in the Navy and you're making $300 a month, you're on a tight budget. So Go to the grocery store, get a box of powdered milk, go to the cookie section and buy um, sweet, sweet and lightly sweetened cocoa powder, okay? And then go to the baby section and get the rice cereal, a serving of each. You just made uh, a 300 calorie, 25 uh, gram carbohydrate meal replacement. You shake it up, leave it in your refrigerator or, or don't, leave it out. Boom. You don't have a supplement. You have food. Yeah. So again, we, we, we want to, with all due respect, the center, it's cadre and the medical staff, 100%. And I mean that, and I believe in that. And I don't, I don't want to contradict them, but if, if, if you can, and even one of those things where you already go through your LPO and say, Hey, here's my plan because this is going to be found in my room. I want to make sure ahead of time, that the cadre and the medical staff are aware that I'm making this. So they don't come to room inspection and go, Hey Nichols, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought we said no supplements. Yeah. <laughs> instructor so-and-so or math chiefs. Like, yeah, I understand, but we've already, Oh, okay. Got it. You're the guy, you know, just be respectful and, and, and say, listen, I'm going to follow the rules, but I also really care about my performance and my recovery. So can I do this? Now you're not going to be the first person that done this, which is why, Stu and I said many times, you, it is likely you will never encounter a better medical staff in your entire life. The, the medical staff at Bud's, they're there for a reason, and they are really good at what they do. So trust that they're doing what's best for you. Just work with them. Yeah. That's, that's my thought. So, yeah. 
you know, and that's, you know, we cut, you know, the supplement side, um, we kind of talked to electronics, you know, you're going to have your room in your room and you're going to have both of you are going to have a dresser, right? In your bed and little nightstand and lamps, just keep the phone across. And it, it and you know, I'm not going to get into the science of like where it, it can disrupt your, your, your Delta patterns, your brain. But here's the thing is, and you guys have all experienced this, you know, you set your phone down, you put it away from you. It may chime or vibrate and you're like, it's yeah. all the way across the room. I'm not going to get that. You, so if it's yeah. out of your reach, it then doesn't become a distraction as much as it would if it's like, it's just within reach. Right. Okay? So aside from the, 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 the electrical waves mm -hmm. and stuff, it can screw up your, your REM sleep just out of proximity. Yeah. Then you've eliminated the issue. Plus right. if you use your phone as your alarm system, Get your butt out you know, of bed. You yep. gotta get up out of bed to go do it anyway. So yep. that's when I can hotel room. I always have it on the desk. Yeah. Because it gets me up. Yep. Okay. So that's those are those are some some ideas for you guys to really start thinking about again, just like we talked about in a previous video. Start that routine now. Be thinking right now, like, oh yeah, I'm totally gonna go to a carpet store or like, oh, okay, identify the pillow now. Right. Identify the bedding. You're going to be in a twin bed. Right. Identify yeah. it now. Like what what sheets, what comforter, what pillow do I want? OK. Yeah. What do I use ambient noise? Do I not like find somebody that feels the same way? Experiment right now. Go to the grocery store. <laughs> Start getting stuff that's a food that is a, in replacement of a supplement. And don't try to mix it and put it in a supplement or don't take your because they've seen this. Don't take baby food box and put yeah in it yeah because they're gonna they'll they're gonna look they're gonna taste it so play by the rules but approach it right now as a way to go all right well i'm just gonna create a plan that i know i can go with right so yeah. there you go that's sleeping for selection or however you know that's kind of the you know and this is again it's it's buds it's sfas it's pj it's combat controller it's rescue swimmer it's the police academy, it's the fire academy, all those yep. sort of things. This is, and then it, then after the fact, this is the same stuff I do to this day. Many of it, I've just refined it. Yeah. You know, and there's one last thing that I just want to touch on, and that is um, slowing yourself down by learning how to breathe. Yeah. So box breathe. Yep. Big inhales, big exhales, try to relax while you're doing this before you go to bed. You find that if you do this for two or three minutes – it's going to bring you down from where you might have been sympathetically charged and fired up for the day and excited for tomorrow. It just bring you back down, engage yep. that parasympathetic side of your nervous system with, that you need to engage yes. anyway at this period of time. And it'll put you in that right frame of mind and go to sleep. And then if your brain starts going crazy and you start thinking about things, try to find, you got to find that little happy place of nothing. Yep. You know, you got this little box to think of. Think yep. about that box and there's nothing in that box and you actually just think of nothing, focus on your breathing, boom. Next yep. thing you know, you're asleep. Yeah, I have a, I have a, my process for that that I do every single night after I get out of the shower is this and I use something that puts me in that state of mind or it's a reminder. Um, I have, I got it on Amazon, it's 25 bucks and I swear by it. I, if I had it at Bud's, man, I, it's, it's, it's a little acupuncture mat. It's called a bed of nails. Oh, I've seen those, yeah. Holy moly. I'm telling you, Stu, it's worth every penny. Huh? I stand on it every night and I'm just like, it instantly improves my digestion. I can feel it. Like it sounds, sounds total bananas, huh. but I take, I took it to the Sornex, uh, summer strong and people were standing on it going, Oh my God, what is going on? This is amazing. Like someone had a migraine. Um, and she came, I guess, just stand on it. Trust gone, gone. Yeah. All right. And so every night, cause, cause I'm relaxed out of my shower. I come downstairs, I get, get situated cause I'm going to sit down and do some work or I'm going to just chill out. I stand on that thing for three or four minutes, just stand there and I breathe. And what you're going to find is your diaphragm's really going to open up hmm. standing on that thing. And I can really get that deep groin belly breath. Right. My mouth starts salivating. I'm like instantly, instantly parasympathetic, man. So oh, I'm on I'm bed of nails. That thing on Amazon, it Getting comes it. like a little pillow. It's just, Oh my goodness, man. Yeah. Like I, if for me, if, if I was hosting a performance clinic or something and I had speakers coming in, like I did at Liberty a couple weeks ago or shoot, man, I'll, you know, with the T-Sac that you're not presenting, 
I would gift them to my speakers. Oh. I had 10 speakers, I'd buy 10 of them. And I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> you <know? laughs> but I would I like have it. certainly have had that at Bud's if I could have. All right. So All check right. it out, folks. Yeah. Bed of nails. Bed of Amazon. nails and get some sleep. You know, one thing yep. you can do is now while you're at home, still at home, if you're living at home or maybe you're living on your own before you go to join the Navy is put all your favorite bedding in a box and mail it to yourself. Have somebody mail it to you when you get yep. there and it'll be there whenever yep. you arrive at buds on first or second day. And uh, yeah, I can't remember. Did, we did get mail at buds sometimes with a package. I can't, basically went to yeah. the corner deck. Yep. And then you just give the center a name and your bud, you put a buds class number on it. Yeah. Then, yeah we, we got mail. I mean, it, it, yeah, pretty easy. That was back yeah, so, when you know, snail mail was the, your form of communication. Yeah. Yeah. Or telephones. Yeah. So guys, so here's the thing too. La my last piece is this, is that, you know, hopefully you guys are under the impression that's like buds is not a prison. You know, you really carry on a pretty normal life considering right. The amenities that life provides that we lean on the communication with family, getting mail, all those sort of things. You do have a lot of freedom in buds. You really yeah. do. And you also have freedom to go out and party every night if you wanted to. If that's if that's your cup of tea, man. Just probably yeah. not stay away. I'd stay away from Tijuana. But yeah. other than that, I, I wouldn't recommend it because yeah. once again, recovery. It's, we talked about that in the <laughs> yeah. zero tolerance. Yep. Uh, yep. Video, but um. Yep. Because talking yeah. about alkalinity of blood, man. The moment you consume alcohol, you you've just gotten you got a lot of hydrogen. You can't. You can't metabolize, you know, can't metabolize food as well. Um, oxygen transport is, is, is really slowed. And you're just ready to be inflamed. Yep. Yep. Just it's great gonna, inflammation. You, you yeah. drink alcohol, you're going to get tendonitis. Yeah. yeah it much. will contribute to it directly. So yeah. this was a good one, folks. Hopefully you guys, you know, again, here's the thing too, is in the comments, populate the comments with like, Hey, this is what I always do. Like keep feeding ideas to everyone yeah. because Again, Stu and I talk about, Stu just said it before, is that these are, these are our experiences. We don't have all the answers, but cumulatively between Stu and I and all of you supporting he and I, and, and we have, the answers are there for pretty much the, the entire population. Yeah. So we'd love to hear your guys' ideas on how you prepare for sleep successfully. Yeah, there you or go. What mistakes you've made. Yeah, let us know your sleep ritual down, yep. down below, everything you do. So... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yep. All right, Jeff, this is a good one. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys.